Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alboron and today we are back in Valheim. We have another seed discovery video for you. This particular seed is going to be what I consider a challenge seed. However, it, it's a mild challenge and you'll see once we get into the video. So these seed discovery videos, I do a fairly deep dive into the seed. We look at the maypole, obviously its location, etc. We look at the Valheim map generator so we can find out where all the bosses are, etc. So if you want to avoid all that, I understand. I will leave a I will leave a comment below that will have the seed ID in it, or it will be in the title of this video. So before I get going too far, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, share. All that stuff helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate it. So here's the maypole. Um, it's You can see there's lots of piggies running around, so that's cool. Um, it's not right on the ocean. You've got this little inlet here. I think if you dug that out, you could have a decent little port right there if you wanted. Um, now, normally, you would see uh, most maypoles are in villages, and this is technically a village. Valheim th thinks it's a village, but this particular village, all you have is this one building. Um, you know, it's got a chest in there, whatever. You've got plenty of piggies running around, so you can start your boar farm. Um, and, you know, you've got raspberries, which is pretty standard fare. As maypole locations go, though, this one's fairly sparse. There's not a whole lot here. And the reason for that is, is because we're on this tiny island. Okay, now there is a crypt here, um, and I will show you that. Um, so before we get to the map generator, we're going to take a quick tour of the island. This is a small island. You, you are going to have to get here. You're going to have to sail, because here's the, the starter. Okay, here's the spawn. So you're going to have to come up here. It's definitely going to, you're going to have to build a raft to get over here, unless you go into cheat mode. But there's the maypole. It's right on the water. Um... Fairly close to the water, I should say. Um, I think this is a pretty good location. We're doing a video on it because it is a small island as well. So we've got the the starter village here with the maypole. Great. We've got a boar stone right over here, which is nice. Okay, that's that's nice. Um, you could pull them over there for your boar farm. You could just enclose this, have a boar farm. You've got some necks over here as well. Whenever you see those tadpoles, you're going to have necks. So you've got a pretty decent food source. Um, you had a little outcropping here, not a big deal. Um, an, an interesting little building here, another one over there. Again, these, th these are potentially really nice little port locations. And you got a queen bee and a bee. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't knock that down, so that's cool. So you know you've got a queen bee over here. That's cool. That's going to help with your food production. Nothing over there. Um... Now, the neat thing of this particular uh, starter island is, is there is a little bit of a uh, dark forest, okay? And there is a, a crypt here. Now, I haven't done a thorough uh, examination of the topography, right? I don't know that there's um, copper here. I think there is, but I haven't found one yet. That might be a weakness, okay? You're going to be able to chart this area pretty quickly because it's a small island. I mean, there's a spawner over there. Here's your, uh, here's your crypt. So you can farm that up. It will eventually regenerate uh, its loot. So if there's some certain cores in there, you could definitely farm those. Um, some of these smaller islands may or may not have some copper. I don't know. That is the one little weakness i believe with this now we've already made the full circle of the island okay again that that crypt from the maypole is pretty damn close okay so we're really close to the crypt which is nice now you may get some visitors at night but that's pretty sweet so overall i think this is a fairly solid location but let's take a look at the map so here is the spawn you're going to run up here. You do have some deep oceans. So you're going to have to build a raft or go into cheat mode. You choose. Um, and here's that maypole. Okay. And again, it's a fairly small island. And these are all the little outcropping islands that we saw as we 
flew around. Um, again, the weakness here might be that there's no copper. I don't know. I haven't confirmed that. But, you know, again, it's supposed to be a, a challenge seed. Now, let's take a look at the bosses. Okay. I'm going to pan out a little bit. Um, you're going to have to be on a boat and you're going to have to sail. Okay. Now, the good news is, is you've got fairly decent down here. You've got, you know, you can go south. You've got the Elder, you've got Yagloth, you've got Bone Mass. You've got a Bone Mass over here. You've got a motor over here. This might be the play. Okay. Um, I'm not sure where the Queen is in relation to that, but they're over, she's over here. And there isn't anything really to the west. There's no Queen. Now, that's cool. I think that they're, you know... Again, it's a challenge seat. You're going to have to get in a boat and have to come down here and find these bosses. Now, you've got a few options to the north as well. You've got motor, bone mass, and yagloth. Um, there's a couple of motors, and there's a queen here. The problem is you don't have an elder up there. Okay, so pick your poison. Which way do you want to go? The good news is, is you've got this little island right here that's got quite a bit of biomes in it. So you might be able to farm up some pretty good resources there. That's nice. Overall, at the bosses are okay. It, like I said, it's a mild challenge seed. You're going to have to sail to get the bosses, but they're fairly clustered to the north and to the south, I feel. I think that's decent. This one down here is probably the play that I would make. You've got Elder, and then you've got Bone Mass, and you've got a Yagloth right there. Um, that's pretty solid. Let's take a look at the trader. Uh, better. You've got a trader right down here by this Elder. That in and of itself is, is probably worthy of a video. Okay, And by the way, you do have an elder over here that's on its own little island as well. So I think the going south is your play on this video, on this uh, map. Because um, you've got this elder and uh, the trader right here. Now, the tricky part is you've got a, a trader right here as well. The trader will spawn when you get in proximity, right? So if you make a mistake, you go north, you're going to spawn this trader, and then this one doesn't exist anymore. You can only have one trader per seed. I believe that's still the rule. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. So you're going to want to come down here and really hug the west, because even if you screw up and go a little bit to the east, you may, un you may open this trader up, and then this one isn't there for you, because you definitely, that's going to be a good elder play, right? So one of the strategies I use for the Elder is obviously I kite around the columns and range him. Now you can just go right into the trader and he will not attack you when you're in the trader because it's protected. Um, and that distance, it, it's going to be closer than what it seems on this map. So I think that's the play there. Let's take a look at Leviathan so you can get your chitlin. Um, if you're going south, you're going to have a few down here. It's not a fantastic... Uh, map for, for for Leviathan resources. It would be great if there was some here. There are not. So, you know, you're going to have to come down here and get them. It's just the way it is. If you do choose to go north, there's a couple of places right up here that's three or four. It's not like you have to farm Leviathans, but you definitely want to get your Harpoon. Um, you're definitely going to have to find some so you can get your Chitlin to build your Abyssal Harpoon. Let's take a look at Tombs and Crypts. That's the big one, right? And things get a little bit better here. Um, there's that crypt that's right by your your potential base. On your way up from spawn, you've got a couple that you can hit right here. And these aren't going to be huge uh, black forest biomes right here either. You should be able to find these crypts pretty quickly over here. Uh, so that's nice. And going south, like we proposed, let's get that trader in there again. There's quite a bunch right here by this elder. So I think your dark forest playthrough is pretty much set going south. I don't see why you wouldn't do that. This right here is concentrated. It would be great if there were some more sunken crypts here, but there is not. Um, like I said, when I reviewed this, it is a cha mild challenge seed. Iron might be an issue. This bone mass doesn't have any. This one over here, though, has a crypt right on top of bone mass. That's going to be really close. Now, for me, 
um, that's a that's a great bone mass location because you've got the crypt. You can run in there, drop some stuff on the ground. If that fight gets out of out of hand for you, you can just run into the crypt, uh, regen, do whatever you need to do. Uh, I, I think that's a solid bone mass. It's not a great uh, swamp biome, but having a crypt right by bone mass is pretty nice. The motor location down here. Uh, let's take a look at the frost caves and we want to look at the dragon eggs it's not bad you've got enough dragon eggs here where you're not gonna have to schlep them from some other biome okay uh, I mean some other uh, mountain location there's enough eggs you only need three of them you can only carry a max of two at a time I believe unless you're playing on a modded server there's some frost caves here I, personally I, I the frost caves are okay. I don't know that there's a whole lot in there that I want to farm out, but this is a pretty good motor location. Now, the problem is, is you have to get to this motor. Even if you go through the swamp, you're going to have to go through some planes, and the planes was is is it part of endgame. Um, some of the mobs there can be pretty, you know, can be a pain. Not that the mountains are that much easier, but when you're heading into the mountains, you've probably geared up through the swamp. You should be able to handle most of what the mountains throw at you. Um, sometimes the stone golems can be a pain in the neck. Or if you get a wolf pack that comes at you. Um, for wolf packs, I usually try to dig. You know, get into a deep hole and one or two of them fall down and you can just pick them off that way. But uh, yeah, I think this might be a challenging motor location, which is good. You know, we want some challenge in the game. So overall, I think that the this how the the um crypts are dispersed are okay i mean up here to the north is pretty solid in this trader so if you do go north you're going to be you're going to be in a better crypt situation the bosses you know you're going to have to find an elder but you know this the sunken crypts over here this may be where you farm your iron um it's okay again it's a it's a mid challenge seed in my opinion Let's get clean up the map a little bit. There we go. Um, what else do we want to look at here? Uh, troll caves are always nice. I always add include these in my videos because I like to build portals here. Um, there's again right here. This this location is. You've got a trader, you've got a troll cave, and you've got the elder. I would just slap a portal right there. Um, you know, once you clear the entrance of the troll cave is a great place to build a portal. You've got access to the swamp where, yeah, there may not be a lot of crypts, but you're going to get leeches, etc. Um, and Draugr. And then you've got your Yagloth right down here. So that's pretty solid, in my opinion. The other troll caves, again, I'm anticipating you're going to go south. Uh, but, you know, you do you. And, you know, the Queenie down here is probably the one I'm going to hit. You've got an Elder down here as well. That's a long way to go for early game Elder. But that's where it is. Let's... We've done the mountains for the most part. Let's find the piggies. Now, we've got two boar stones here. You're not going to need any more than that. This little island... The initial setup, you should have no problem getting food. You may have an issue with, with beehives. Um, there's only one on the island. That's fine. Um, even near the, the spawn, you've only got a couple close. I would grab these and then head over here. So you've got three or four. You're going to have honey. I didn't see a lot of raspberries. I didn't see a lot of mushrooms on the starter island. I did see boars, though. And there's necks. So necks, boars, probably have a couple of deer spawn and some honey production you should be okay all right let's start to look at some of the end game stuff so we want to get down here to the yagloth now again i'm assuming you're going to go to this one if you go to another one that's up to you but let's take a look at where the totems are it's not great i mean you've got again if you're going to base up here which is what i'm going to recommend you do you got access to a totem here got another one down here got a few down here um, if you went to this motor you've got a couple over here and then there's a nice chunk right here and then there's a couple right by this Yagala so not horrible again it's gonna be 
this is not going to be a simple seed. Okay. Um, particularly towards the end game, which is good. You know, we want to we want to be challenged, um, at least with this seed. I mean, there's plenty of seeds out there. If you want to do a quick playthrough, you can. Now, just for future reference, if you Ashlands are down here, so I, I think you're definitely gonna wanna, gonna, gonna wanna go south. Anyways, because I think that's gonna be our next biome. If you're interested in that, I did a video on the dev blog from early January where they talk about Ashlands is coming in 2023. So uh, this may be a better, uh, you definitely wanna go south, you might build here. I'm thinking you may build something in the plains because you want to get that farming stuff and then there's your queen right over there you've got access to the ash lands so let's take a look at the miss lands end game stuff so the staffed to vulgar structures that's enough and this little biome right here there's plenty the skulls excavations and giants plenty of those swords source of iron in the mistlands it's not fantastic over here but there's enough okay by this queen seeker spawns overall it, it's okay everything that you're going to need for the queen should be right in here or very close by i don't think you're going to have much of a problem with that um Admittedly, I have not invested a whole bunch of... I, I don't have a playthrough yet where I've gone through the Mistlands and really um, uh, vetted it out. So when I say that it it's good or it's not good, I really don't know. I've checked the Mistlands out. I've, I've you know kind of flown through there. But I am doing a vanilla playthrough myself, and I'm taking my time with it. I'll get to the Mistlands eventually, but I think this is the, the play here for the Queen. So overall, what we're doing here is, is it looks like we've got a decent challenge seed. We're spawning in here. We're building a raft. We're going to this maypole. We're going to build up here. Um, you've got a, a play down south for a trader. And there's your elder. You've got your bone mass, your Yagloth, and your motors here. That's the play that I'm making. Then I, maybe I come down over here, build a little base. So I've got access to Yakaloth motor and bone mass here as well if I don't want to screw with these two. I may build a base here, get on a boat, sail down here, boom, right there. It, I think this is going to be a decent challenge seed. I don't think it's going to be super hard, but I don't think it's going to be super easy either. You're going to have to, you're going to have to sail and some of the locations you're going to have to sail to are far, far away. However, if you find a decent place to base up, you're going to be in the in the midst of two or three bosses in each one of those locations, particularly if you go south. And the resources here are okay. But the cool thing is, is you've got a maypole. It's on a small little island, um, which is always a fun playthrough, in my opinion. Um, it's it, it makes it a little bit more challenging, gives you an opportunity to build a nice little unique base, etc., you know, to each their own. Anyways, that's the discovery, the seed discovery for today. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Is this a type of seed you'd play? This is a type of seed I would play. If I didn't already have a vanilla playthrough, I love the little island bases where I have to sail. Um, I admit it, I enjoy sailing in, in Valheim, even though it's, it's a lot of people find it boring because it's not a lot going on. I think it's cool. I think it's Viking. So this is definitely one I would play. Would you play it? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff helps the channel out. I really appreciate the support. You guys have been great. Uh, the channel is really doing well. I truly appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again soon.